It's actually, this is a huge match, by the way, that we're about to play. We're starting the stream with a just a massive match. We've got our team selected, though. I just don't have any left wings because Shelter Up and Errol Shimshir are, like, both out. Um, Rodriguez can play left wing, and then Gasson would come in for him. We have Bad Boy. We have Elaine Diallo. I feel okay with this. This is a huge match, which is why I'm taking so long making the decision about my bench because I'm just procrastinating. I don't want to deal with it. We're playing Mets. They're, like, actually the team that's five points ahead of us at the top of the league right now, for those that didn't know, uh, because that's the league table. And we are in third, five points off of Mets, and the board are definitely reasonably by they are reasonably expecting us to be able to win the league with the amount of resources they've given us. But Mets have been setting a rather blinding pace right now. Oh, true, my cam is flipped. You're right. Probably very disorienting if you watch the stream all the time. Okay, there we go. Now I'm looking at the match. Get that ball out of here, man. Don't want any of this nonsense. Get that ball out of here. Yo. Wow, we've done nothing. Absolutely nothing happening in this match. We've had most of the ball. They have five shots, but none particularly threatening. Oh, and then we score. But then we score. Do they have Maitland Niles playing right back? What a weird... I've got Calvin Ramsey playing right back. They have Ainsley Maitland Niles playing right back. Who would have thought we'd be here? Not me. All right, I'm going to give it 15 more minutes, and then if we are not creating anything at that point, I'm going to be pretty aggressive with the changes to try and get something out of our team here. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Sick. Sadu Toure. Where are we going, Sadu? Slip him. Dude. What a bad pass. Dane, you're supposed to be, like, the highest quality player out there. Oh, Alvaro. Rodier. Goal. That's the goal that will pull them back towards the top of the league. Big goal. Huge goal for the brand. Winning this match may, you know, would actually turn this into a legit title race. Great little yo-yo by Alvaro Rodriguez. Opens up the space. Love the green kit. Yeah, I'll just say the, the St. Etienne's vibes have been they've been improving. Helps when we have so much money relative to the teams we're playing against. But I think it's the right job to take. Oh shot! <laughs> so in right now. <laughs> he just cleared it off his teammate and it just falls to Gasol. Tap in goal. 2-0 St. Etienne at Mets. Cohesion issues absolutely mudded. They don't even, they're not even real. <sighs> um, you know, I, the thing is, we're going to get our Continental Pro out of this, hopefully, because our club is financially secure. I'm going to finish my Continental A license in May. What are you doing? What are you What are you doing, Mika? Like, so center backs being dragged over. Who, who's tired? Uh, our wings are tired. Saidu Torre's been playing well, but Lala Mala Bad Boy brings that defensive edge, you know? Please be... That's enough. <laughs> we made the changes and we saw it the rest of the match because, uh, you know... Oh, we don't need to go for that. Ugh. Sweet! We won at Mets, and now... Dude, so shall won as well. So it's just a nice little uh, three-horse race for the title. Even though we beat the top team in the league, I still can't get into the top two. I've spent the entire year not in the top two, even though I feel like we're winning all the time. Ager uh, and Bordeaux within three days of each other. All we did was play bad teams for, like, ever. <laughs> now, I mean, Zealand, this is how it works. Then you just play all the good teams right at once. Okay, Rual, Ramsey, Stefan, Fai, Bravo, Vanden Bauman, Toure, Efcon, Rodier, Rodriguez. I'm happy with all that. 
I'm going to start Elaine Diallo over FCON today because Elaine Diallo has been better recently. And FCON's still working his way back from, like, getting, you know, being injured the entire season. It's really, it, you know, it's very, it's exhausting to be hurt as much as he's hurt. And I, so I totally get it. You know, he needs a break from that. But he was great initially when he freaking came back. All right, we're at home against Alger. <laughs> on a hot streak, on a heater. Let's keep the good results flowing, my dude. We are hanging out in third place, trying desperately to close that gap on the top two. Mets just drew, which means if we win this match, we are level with Mets on points. But knowing the way things work, so Shao's also going to win, and there'll be three teams on 37 points. And we'll still be in third on goal difference. Come on, baby. All right, Ramsey. Bravo. Sweet. Captain Barranco Vanden Bowman. That's that would be that would be impressive. He scored that. First stream. Good luck in the match. Thanks, men. Welcome to the streams. Oh. Call back next week. Maybe. He's dev he's got the football manager bug now. And our save is also heating up too. It's been we, we got FM so hard. We gave up a 96th minute goal to lose. Okay. We gave up a 96th minute goal to lose in the last match we played last night. I hate when I give up a goal but win the momentum graph for that five minutes. Bothers me endlessly. Branco Vandenbaumen. Alvaro Rodriguez with a saucy little turn. Sadu Toure leaving a man behind. Sadu Toure. And it finds Elaine Diallo. And they have equalized. Sadu Toure. Brilliant run. Alain Diallo continues his brilliant first campaign as part of the first team. All right, Diallo, look at the fullback. Look at the fullback. Look at the full... Look, we have another guy on the field. Dear Lord, we're making it We're making it work without him, but, like, we, we it, it could have been easier. Oh, great counter press. Let's go, Vanden Bauman. To go by Franco Vanden Bowman. Boom! The captain ripping the stanchion off the goal to put Saint Etienne in front. Sadu Toure. Oh, what a turn by Sadu Toure, who's starting to wake up. Look, it took him a while. But we're starting to see some good displays from Saidu Toure. Last match, now this match, he's beating guys off the off the gallop. Get in, son. Just get in the net. Pedro Bravo. We are actually in the top two right now. Oh, L.A. Diallo! Oh, my God! He's only 19. Alain Diallo. And the match is turned on its head for Saint Etienne. Bravo. Sweet. Vanden Bauman. Oh, it's Ecomier. What a touch by Ecomier. Torre. Saidu Toure, brilliant, brilliant football. Um, you can give scouting and training, and you can give those away to your staff and have them manage them, and they'll do an okay to poor to great job, depending on how good your staff is. Uh, but, oh, we're first! Because we scored so many goals, let's go! A little Tuesday kickoff against Bordeaux, couldn't even do it on Wednesday, huh, bud? That's all right, we were able to rotate. In an unexpected turn of events, we were able to rotate in the last match, and now we are top of the league, where we are supposed to be, according to our board. They would be upset if we got anything else, and so I am glad that we are not as close to getting sacked after that win. All right. Wow, they're playing a 4-2-3-1, and my assistant coach wants to mark the entire thing. At home against Bordeaux, one of the te the Bordeaux rejected us. Bordeaux rejected our job application, and Saint Etienne hired us instead. So this is a Zealand revenge ball. Oh, way to progress the ball. There you go, Bravo. Sadu Toure sizing him up. Oi! 
Playing Monopoly is never good for team cohesion. No. I was having that conversation with Carl about Monopoly. Apparently, he takes Monopoly very seriously. And I'm like, Monopoly, dude. Monopoly never, like, actually ends. Monopoly just ends when everybody else agrees to stop playing. But you never actually play to the illogical end of Monopoly where everybody runs out of money. Rual getting freaking barbecued there. But unlucky. We made one mistake. We were forced to pay for it a really brutal way. It's actually really funny. The other two teams at the top of the table are also losing. So it's like we're not actually losing any ground right now. FCON's coming in. Not going to be confused with AFCON. Uh, Jacques Secomier is coming out for Liam Scales because he's just not playing well and is apparently terrified of his own shadow now. So get after him, boys. Not, not a normal set of substitutions, but a set of substitutions that should help us. Oh, nice header! Come on, guys. We can score a goal here. We can score a goal here. Rodriguez, oh, it's in! Come on! Come on! It's Alvaro Rodriguez, and now they hunt the three points. <laughs> After the save that keeper made, he did get fingertips to that. But a big Alvaro showing his quality, showing the reason that we like him. Diallo, he is onside, that's fine. Bravo, Rodier, Ram, no, no, should have given that to Bravo. Oh, good ball. Is he on? No, he's not. He's not, he's not, he, he, he's not on. There's no, there's no way. He's offside. All right, we got six minutes, boys. They're going all out attack. Now let's make this ours. Scales, Rodier. Good carry, Alain Diallo. He's got him. It's Lala Mala, bad boy! Oh, it's bad boy! Of course, it's the saint! It's Lala Mala, bad boy! For the win! It couldn't be anybody else! What a player, dude, what a player! He scores the winner! Diallo, great run from bad boy, gets in behind, takes his time. What a goal. What a goal by Lelamela, bad boy. I told him, I was like, look, they just injured our boy Sadu Toure, make him pay. And we made him pay. 3-1, that's onside. Alvaro Rodriguez. See you later, Bordeaux. Adios. Lelamela, bad boy, dude. Never change, Lalamella. Never change. Uh, Toure rolled his ankle three to four weeks. All right. We are we are we are down with a bit of an injury. Uh, I was I wouldn't have said crisis, but definitely some issues with injuries. Oh sweet, we do have eleven days off. We are playing a team. I don't know how they made the ninth round of the Coupe de France, but the Coupe de France is awesome. And we are I, like, what are this teams? The fifth division, I think. They are in the National Three Group A, which I believe is fifth division. So th this is ninth round too. Bubakar, yes, Bubakar Fall takes the armband, one hundred percent. Yes, never agreed with anything more in my entire life. Keep the good streak going. We are on the road against Davinde Fontenay. We're playing a fifth division. We have not played a team above the fifth division in this entire tournament. It honestly feels mean. I don't know where where the actual teams are in the Coupe de France. Evan Gasson has scored. Uh, Comier is feeling it. Amugu! <laughs> that was a hit, son. That was a hit, son. And that's the goal for Evan Gasson. 3 0. And we're on to key. <laughs> Still Kevin and Babu looking for Maxime Rodier. It's Gasson. And a hat trick for Evan Gasson. 
Okay. Nice run by these guys. Oh, Lamella wants in on the action. He squares it to Gasson. We have four goals in seven minutes right now. From, 50, from the 15th to the 22nd minute, we have scored four goals. Oh, and Babu, nice work. Looking for Rodier. Maxime Rodier. And it's six now. Mati Samugu. Dude. You did score a banger in this game, though. Did they? Is he on? All right, we're going to respond. They woke us up again. Kobe, where's Gasol? He's been eating this guy alive. Goal! Actually, inch perfect header by Evan Gasol. He has five first half goals. These center backs have never seen a striker like this in their lives. Evan Gasol making it look too easy. You're doing brilliantly. We're up 7-1. Uh, Stretch your legs, kick the ball around, have a good time, guys. And we're still cooking, and Gasson's still cooking, and we're just, you know, he's got six goals. Come on. Let's, let's get Erling Holland's nine from the U-20 World Cup. Can we do that? Oh, here he goes. Lalamilla bad boy. Uh, Lorenzo saves, and there's the goal. The first goal for the club from Lorenzo Sage. Lorenzo Sage. Six goals from Gasson. I, I wanted more than that. Um, yeah, I wish I'd, I wish I'd seen more. Look, Gasson, you were brilliant today. Just gonna, uh, you, I mean, if you score six goals, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point you out in the team meeting after the match. If our cohesion starts to tick over, I think we might be able to run, we'll run away with the league. We're gaining cohesion at a faster rate now because we're winning. Ooh, the tenth round draw is today. Let's do that first. Not a lot of league all teams, honestly. They, all, I feel like they always get uh, bounced by some random team. Not a lot of second division teams either. Or er, yeah, fourth. We're playing fourth division Stade Briochon, Brionchi, whatever this is. But we are playing the best team we've played so far in the tournament. We are playing, you know, fourth division team. So we really got to up our game here in the 10th round. Last 32 teams in the tournament, baby. Oh, my ambition is infectious, and they're therefore happy to reconsider and invest. Let's go. Improving your youth recruitment in France is, like, so important. St. Etienne, you know, I like the way you're investing. If you wanted me to stick around and manage for another year... Let me get a Continental Pro when I finish my Continental A in May and we can start having that conversation. Yeah, because we've already played Nimes Olympic once. I actually kind of remember that. Let's keep it going, boys. Top of the league by three points. Let's keep it going. We're favorites. You know, the, the crowd is here. We're making St. Etienne great again. Diallo. Alain Diallo. Vanden Bowman. It's Alain Diallo. It's Bravo. Oh, goodness. Diallo. Oh, he could have slipped that. Branko Vanden Bauman. It's Luca Dane. Oh, it's a brilliant ball. Welcome back, Andreas Schelderup. The big money man back from the injury and right back onto the score sheet for St. Etienne. All right, keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving. Just work that wing right there. Work that wing. Cut it in. Nice. Diallo Rodriguez needed to play that through. Forward, not sideways. Forward, not sideways. Almost never play it sideways. They're all Ruwal. Dude, how did we get. How do we get beat to that ball twice, boys? Can't happen. <sighs> Relaxed and motivated. Now, Mario Martins coming in. We're going with more passing quality on defense. Um, looking at a Rodier, FCON double sub for bad boy in a lane, but we'll give him 15 minutes to try and show their worth here Mika Faye's also struggling for for rating but we are gonna we're gonna really try and take their space away I think having Martin here is uh is a good move we'll, we'll have him as a um center mid on defend and then you are of course the advanced playmaker on support Branko Vandenbaumann and Efren Diallo 
or Alain Diallo, sorry, is uh, up there making his moves as well. So big changes to the formation. Want to really play in their half of the field, be more aggressive, uh, not let them get those counters off the same way they have before. We're counter pressing just about as hard as you can in the entire game right now. And hopefully that means we're getting after a goal right away. Shelley, Vanden Bauman, Branco, Mario Martin, Shelley, Shelley, got to hit that harder. Branco, Branco to Shelley, Shelley. Oh, that is such a cheap pin, and I will so take it, dude. Branco, you're up. Great work, Shelley. Great work, Shelley. <sighs> Ref, how dare you get the call right? I am offended. Branko Vandenbaum is going to be headed into the box as well. And maybe he just scores this from 30 yards. And a brutal loss to Nimes Olympic at home. Uh, they had the cutting edge. We certainly did not. Uh, and we wasted 70% possession, complete control of the game. Yikes. And Mets has leveled us on points again now. All righty, kids. Everybody knows what time it is. It's time to rotate. We should not need to break through, though, because we are playing a fourth division team. Right, guys? This should be easy. Right, guys? Yes? Okay. Nod with me now. How easy this is that we're going to beat this fourth division team, no problem. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, nice pass by Amugu. Aral Shimshir, Turkish wing. Really been out of the picture all year. Up towards Rodier. Nice save. All right, guys. We have 14 shots and only two have hit the target. So if we could figure this out. Oh, Gasol! There we go. Evan Gasol from Liam Scales. Uh, we were waiting for it. Eventually, Gasol was going to score a headed goal. He just beat two guys to that ball. The king of the Coupe de France. Evan Gasol. We're taking the gloves off. It's 1-1 at halftime. I am not playing around with this team. I respect them too much. I am not playing around with them. You know, they got to this round. I respect them. I do. So I, I, and that is why I am not playing around at all. I'm gonna, I'm bringing all the gloves off and we are going after this team in the second half. I am not waiting around for this team to have 20 heroic minutes against this formation once we waste more time. We're going all out. Amugu, Lorenzo sides. Errol Shimshir, dude. All right, Lima down the line. Down, dude, just let's get moving forward here. Thank you. Errol Shimshir, get it off your foot. That's fine. Bad touch from Shelly there, but we're constructing the attack. Scales. Uh, Sadu Toure. Putting him under some pressure to defend something. Oh, Shelder up. Yes. Thank you, Andreas Shelder up. He scores the goal for St. Etienne that could send them to the Coupe de France round of 16. <sighs> well, we're getting a con. We're, we're getting it, please, dear uh, guys. Guys. Get that, dude. That's mine. Yes, Gasson. Play him. Oh, he needed to get that ball out in front of him. He still could score this. Gasol! The goal ends this game. Our formation's very offensive, but our mentality is pretty balanced. Penalty. Okay, they just handballed the corner. So, while it is not the most glorious, Shelder up has a chance to score his second goal to send us to the round of 16 in the Coupe de France.
Absolutely insane if they manage to tie this now. Harold Shimshir looking for guess. Oh, there we go. That's a response from a miss pen right there. That's a response from a miss pen. Thank you. Shelter up. You uh, you spooked me there, big guy. We won. We won on the road. We're to the last 16 of the Coupe de France, which is, you know, we're in the second division. So I'm just waiting for that Coupe de France draw, you know. There it is. Who's left? There is one team not in the top two leagues. So our Coupe de France, if we get Grenoble, I'm doing a backflip. Oh. Hey, at least we're at home. We're at home against Claremont Foot. Grenoble's playing uh, Lyon. But all of the miracle teams from the lower division seem to have been wiped out in the round of 32. Grenoble, a third-tier team, is still going. Us, Bastia, Gwingam, Valencian, Nimes uh, are all keeping the dream alive for the second division to get to the quarterfinal. So Sedu Toure is ready. We are ready. We were born ready. And we are playing at Paris FC. Back in league action, only one league match so far in January just because of the way things work out. So fans expect the win. Got to deliver. We're going to Paris. Pali. Because he'll help close out the year with two lone goalkeepers. Diallo. Shelter up. Good start, though. After that frustrating 2-1 loss to Nîmes Olympique that's dogging us. Oh, yeah. It's a catastrophic own goal. Uh, oh, that's mine. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly. Diallo. Alain Diallo. Bravo. Rodriguez. Oh, love that. Creating the space for Shelly. And it's two. He drew the center backs up. The point of the one-touch layoff is the center backs don't have time to recover. Shelley just tucks in behind him. Boop, no time to recover. One touch out to Shelley. Center backs out of the way. Tidy finish. Star type play from Andreas Shelder up. Branko Vandenboomen. Shelley Vandenboomen! Branko! Vandenboomen! I mean, he got so much power on this for just like an excuse me swing here. Comes back to him and he's like, oh, I'm just gonna broad body across it. Zips it by Timo Horn. Alvaro Rodriguez, lay it off, son. It's Ramsey, and it's in! Calvin Ramsey! Not to mention, they're really hard to kill. Like. <laughs> If you don't just roll up and kill an alligator, like, this isn't a deer we're talking about here, right? Where you just, like, accidentally hit one with your car and you're like, ah, you know. Alligators are, like, bulletproof on most parts of their body. Dude, I really like Mamadou Sané. I am going to sign Mamadou Sané, yes. Yes, I am, because I really like him. So we also need to go to transfers. I'm, like, actually remembering stuff. This is crazy. We need to go to Whitworth and ask for the confirmation. And then we need to confirm the signing of Joe Whitworth as our cup goalkeeper to solidify our goalkeeping depth, which will hopefully appease a promise. Dear God, no. I'll give it a day, but I think we just failed to appease the promise because he came in and is rated as a two-star goalkeeper, even though I think he's fine. And my scouts literally had him at three stars. Coupe de France quarterfinal draw. Dude, we're still in a round of 16. What are you doing? So this is the draw for the quarterfinal. We are getting, obviously, Grenoble. But it could be the huge derby against Lyon in the Coupe de France quarterfinal, which would be cool. But if Grenoble pulls off the massive upset, that would be awesome. No, I think I, I back us favorably against those types of teams as long as I can avoid a locker room meltdown over the goalkeepers. We just made a nice signing of Amadou Sané, a right-sided player that can play both fullback and, you know, absolutely sail forward as a winger so hopefully we can uh we can fit that in there thank you mamadou sane samuel suarez is actually a really good goalkeeper i don't think we'd get him for that amount of money 
but I'm down to ask. Uh, Suarez is actually a good buy for next year, so I'm going forward with that whether it whether the promise has already been satisfied or not. Uh, we can exact revenge on them from what they did to us early in the season, apparently. We won the last league match going away, away against Paris FC. Now we're trying to win another one against Onancy. Nice, bravo, Diallo. Cedar Touré, Cedar Touré, Cedar Touré! A lot of competition at that right wing spot, but if he can start scoring more goals that look like that, it's hard to argue with his being in the team. He's 16 finishing, shifty. Shifty with 16 finishing is very, very dangerous. Creates the space, roofs it, 1-0. We're on the move. Oh, look at that. Saidu forgot the ball. Branko Vanden Bauman! <laughs> The vibes are immaculate at St. Etienne right now. Sadu Toure is toying with him. Calvin Ramsey with a sharp ball to Vanden Bauman. You leave him open. He hits that flat-footed ball so hard. He catches keepers out. Thank you for making five people's days, giving them the ad-free experience, and supporting the stream with kindness. The name also checks out. What a touch and a goal by Sadu Toure, and it's three. We are uh, dominating all sorts of form tables. The one match we didn't win in our last like 11 league matches, we lost, and it you know it was a it was a hearty FMing. Um, they hit us on the counter twice, and we only scored once. So we are we are really probably oh that's sick. We are probably like a mid table league all team right now the way we're playing. Probably. No more funny business. A beautiful 4 0. Not going to overhype it because we weren't as dominant as the scoreline would indicate, but Mets won their match. They're still, try they're, they're still trying to stay in it for the title, but it does. We're nine points clear for automatic promotion with 13 to go, which is a very nice feeling. Very, very nice feeling. All right, let's uh, check our transfer offers. We're waiting on Samuel Suarez and Andre Gomez, two Portuguese goalkeepers. It could be our starter and backup next year, should we be at St. at the end next year. We have signed Andre Gomez. He joins right now and is agreed to be a backup. And then at the end of his loan, he joins the club on full time. So the question is, do we want to take a stab with four million at Samuel Suarez after signing that reserve goalkeeper for, you know, a healthy amount? No, I mean, literally, uh, when I actually mean a healthy amount, like under 95000 for Andre Gomez to come in and be our backup goalkeeper next year. Because we don't really know. You know, it's five years in the future. I like Samuel Suarez in the game, but, you know, his one-to-ones, one-on-ones is 12 to six. Like, we don't know enough. Now, 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 yeah, now that we've got a guy, I think we, we yeah. Well, PSG is into the quarterfinal, but we, hey, they're not our draw for the quarterfinal. We wouldn't have to play them until the semifinal if they're still going, which is great. They do have Jude Bellingham, which feels a little unfair, but they did buy him for $335 million. This is the I have faith in you all. Vibes are good. Leadership support is good. Absolute sellout. Let's go. I'm standing up. This is what it's all about. We win all those early rounds in the Coupe de France. We survive. We advance. It's to get ourselves to this stage right here. Oh, Ramsey. He wants it. He wants to take it. Up towards Gasol. All right, halftime, nil-nil. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. We're playing a top flight team. I'm not about to be angry. Oh, they just brought in Koba. Oh, my former player. What's up, dude? I forgot Orlando Pirates sold him back to Europe like right after I left. Shelter up. Alain Diallo. Love that pass. Let's relieve the, the pressure on. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. Oh, Alain Diallo. The 19-year-old who was in the reserves when I got here nearly had the goal of the season. 
Back to Branko van den Bauman. This is a, this is a chance. This is a chance. Keep it up, baby. Keep it up. Oh, scales. Cut that. I know you can't. about to say I know you can't finish but of course that's the time let's go boys come on now I've been the better team all game let's got to take one of them chances oh Maxim Rodier Rodier got a highlight that's all we need great play by Rodier it's Fkan Bakiralu oh it's Mamadou Zane it's a block Got to believe. Oh, it's opening up. Zane brings it back. Oh, no. I'm proud of your efforts, even if it wasn't to be today. That is just a heartbreaking loss and a sold-out crowd at home. And, um, yeah, huge missed opportunity. We could have gone on a really nice Coupe de France run there.